So um, there's uh, another paper published um, uh, two years ago uh, talking about a uh, uh, transposable element uh, and its impact on um, genome evolution, and uh, particularly uh, among the different group of animals. And we know that the transposable element uh, are present um, and also uh, proliferate within a certain clade of the animals. And there are several mechanisms uh, are known, and several cases are known for those transposable elements. And before we have, uh, usually we don't think the transposable element will influence the, um, the adap adaptation or so the selection pressure uh, among those different groups. And, but right now, there are some people argue that these uh, uh, transposable elements could shape the, uh, the, the transcription of um, pattern and among different groups and probably will uh, push uh, a certain direction for the genome evolution. But there's very little evidence, but um, uh, the idea is that if we have a horizontal gene transfer, and uh, of these transport elements will probably push the chromosomal rearrangement and it will push the structural variation. And because of this kind of uh, disturbing the water and will push to have a new regulatory regions or push the new genes. So if there's no uh, this horizontal gene transfer of TE, the transport element, the um, the genome probably would be more stable and would not have more chance to to have the new new genes, and so uh, the, uh, the the authors argue that those disturbance from the transport elements could play a major role in change the dynamics of the uh, the genome uh, for uh, for you uh, for eukaryotes, and then to promote more uh, the normal gene or novel gene functions and leading to the adaptation of speciation. And of course, we, this is the thinking, um, but we have little idea about the evidence about, about it so far. <laughs>